Hey, what is up, you guys? This is John the Artist. Welcome back to my channel. We're playing some more Tears of the Kingdom. I've been away for a while, getting some hearts off camera. We have, what, nine now? I'm about to get my tenth heart. We're gonna go turn in our last four orbs to the goddess statue because we can do some crazy shit after this, man. I need those ten hearts. And if you guys don't know how to get hearts, there are shrines all over the kingdom of Hyrule. All over the entire map. There's lots of shrines, so you have to find one, try and beat it. You gotta beat four of them to get a heart piece. Um, heart, a full heart you get for beating four, so. I've beat a lot. Ten. Seems kind of lackluster. You can also get your stamina from here too. But I don't have any more orbs, so she won't even talk to me anymore. Rude. We're naked link, because I was trying to do a weird shrine puzzle and I couldn't figure it out. So I like stripped off all of his clothes and trying to walk across the beam like a tightrope like this. And it worked, but it was really stupid and it took forever. I don't want you guys to have to watch all that. But check this out. Remember Pura from the other game? She's all grown up and she's hot now. Check it out. Hiya, Linky. Popping by to make an appearance? I don't see any visible injuries, so you must be holding up okay out there. Have you made any progress on investigating the four regions like I asked? There's another village that might yield more answers, so I'm directing an investigation into what's going on there. Four regions? You've got to be kidding! Ugh, this is exactly what you should be using your pearl pad for. Did you forget or something? Well, I guess that's in character for you, isn't it? Wow, what a bitch. Can I see the pearl pad? She looks pissed. I want you to look into these four regions where strange phenomena are causing major problems. That's Hebra, Elden, Gerudo, Lenevu. You might want to start with Hebra up in the northwest, where Princess Zelda was supposedly sighted. Keep in mind, Hebra is colder than usual due to a serious cold front that blew in recently. And, uh, you don't look like you're ready. You'll want to cook up some prepared cold weather gear, otherwise you'll turn into icicle pretty quick. I'm leaving those regions with the phenomena in your hands, so make me proud. I've also got the other village on my mind. I'm working with the survey team to look in what's going on there. What other village? Kakriko Village, home of the Sheikah tribe. It's off to the southeast in the Nakluda region. Zonai re ruins, each shaped like a ring, fell directly on top of the village. There's got to be a special reason for it. Right now, the Zonai surveys teams elites are taking on the investigation if you want to know about the zonai you should talk to them if you want more info talk to atlas down in the shelter he can probably point you in the right direction he helps deploy the monster control crew squads to where they're needed and has extensive geographical knowledge he can tell you more than i can about various regions and people keep me posted by the way where are your clothes uh i lost them you've got a lot of people who look up to you, so while I appreciate your exercise and freedom, maybe show a little restraint. Well, you don't like all this? Link's hot, man. <laughs> Alright, let's put on some clothes, I guess, so I don't die. That's the only reason. Check it out. We got the Ocarina of Time. You guys are old enough, you'll remember Nintendo 64 Zelda called the Ocarina of Time, and this is the outfit. It's my favorite of all time, so I had to get it. All you have to do is when you get far enough, you get a thing called Amiibo, and if you buy the correct one, it will let you scan it. So I'll show you. Um, it can read Amiibo, right? It should be able to. No, it doesn't like this controller at all. So hold on a second. Come on. 
There, okay. It'll do it with this one. Check this out. She's gonna be like, what the fuck? And you just put it on the joystick on the right side of your regular Switch controller that it comes with. And open up the charge chests. Look at that! Soldier's Claymore! Except it's a little fucked up, see? It's decayed now. But if you have two amiibos, then you can scan another one. Maybe I have to hit a button first. She won't do it on the stairs. I can put it over here. This other one is the new Link from Tears of the Kingdom. And it doesn't really do much. It just gives me mushrooms. Sometimes it gives you weapons though. So all you have to do is scan that amiibo once a day until it drops the Ocarina of Time outfit and you can actually go into your settings like this and you go down to the bottom doo -doo -doo -doo, system you call it date and time you change it to the next day and the system won't be any wiser and you can scan another amiibo every single time until you get what you want so that's what i did i think you actually can get this but i don't know how else to get it but here's another cool feature we have these for our towers now so instead of having to climb to the top of the towers you just have to find the area this one is in the middle of the town they've already taken control of it but the other ones are probably run by bokoblins and stuff like that so you hit that and this little preview happens as he launches you way up in the sky damn really really high i could almost reach that sky plateau over there and this is good for looking at these i think there's like a thing that's supposed to collect over there so we're gonna go check that out paraglider and there's runes all over the world In fact, there's a mission where you need to go find all these runes and like take a picture of them. So I will activate that right now. That is uh, Impa in the geoglyphs. There. Now it should let me do the quest. I feel safer with 10 hearts. I don't think we're gonna get killed by anybody now. I found a pretty cool shield on my way to Zora's domain. And then we found some weird weapons too. I got a pretty good bow, but I really need to buy some arrows. Okay, and we also can make our way to that tower too. So what was I doing? Oh yeah, I wanna show you the glyphs. Can't see them anymore. They're around here. And there's like actual coordinates on the bottom of the map now, which is strange. I don't know how to read that. And if you did, I think it'd be harder to try and pinpoint stuff than just put a little marker on the map, you know? I'm really enjoying this game so far and I don't want to spoil too much. But, uh, I heard you're supposed to find all these glyphs and, like, take a closer look at each one. Where was that? Oh, it's far, it farther away than I thought. Oh, here's a blood moon bullshit. Yada, yada, yada. So the difference about this game and Breath of the Wild Listen to this. When the glow of the blood stained moon shines upon the land, the endless spirits of slain monsters flash. The world is threatened once again. 
Isn't that weird? The way she said that, it seems like she's like happy about it. Usually she'd be like, oh no, Link, watch out. The monsters come back at night when there was a red blood moon, so be careful. Now she didn't say be careful, Link, or anything. She didn't say my name, Link. So very strange. I feel like maybe she's possessed by Ganon or something. I don't know, so that's just a theory. A game theory. <laughs> I like that channel. But yeah, it's just a theory. I don't really know. I haven't played much. I try not to watch any videos where anyone's going to spoil anything. But that's what I think. Because he's acting really weird. I'm probably going to be right. And then we're going to have to fight evil Zelda. Or definitely Ganon, obviously. And then maybe some other character that's really tough. I don't know. That's why I'm preparing all these hearts in case we run into something. Wow, what is this X for, actually? Someone put this on my map. There's a tree. Do I cut it down? What do we do with it? Do I remove it on the ground? Uh, I don't know. It seems to be invincible, so... I don't know what to do about that. We need to go to the glyphs. That's what today's episode was going to be about. I need to invest in stamina, though. He's tired. All right, well, whatever. We're here to do the glyph thing. Here it is. And there's actually a quest we can do right now that will help out with that. Although I already tried to do it. You're supposed to help Impa over here in her hot air balloon. And I like freaked her out <laughs> when we were flying in it. So she doesn't want to do it anymore. But I could show you the air balloon anyway. And we'll get a better look at the glyph. But she's like, I believe this geoglyph is one such image. But even from this vantage, his meaning is no clearer to me. Nor can I figure out what dragon's tears might be. But you know. If the literature is correct, one of them should be quite close, near the geoglyph, or even within its borders. Would you look around? This could be the clue we need to discover Princess Zelda's whereabouts. If you would like to see the geoglyph again, you can use the balloon once more. No need to bring me along, though. Your steering made me feel a bit faint. I, like, literally, like, glued this on here. You know? Because you can do that. You can, like, rip it off. Oh, he won't let me take it apart anymore, but... Oops, it was in a couple of pieces, and I put it back together, and um, I pissed her off, so she won't get back in there anymore. <laughs> okay, we'll put the stick back, and we'll get the torch. Light the torch. Oh, damn it, Link. Light the torch, not yourself. And then we'll, um, whoops. Oh, shit. Like that, and here we go. Now we can see the geoglyph up close and personal. Weird. Some alien like drew this in the ground. I don't know what it means either. Would they say like people have spotted these in real life and they think that there's like alien life forms? I don't know about that. Let's see, how high do I need to go before we can get a really good look at it? It kind of looks like the goat dude that was helping us earlier. And there's a rock in each of one of his arms. I don't see any dragon tears. Let's get a little closer. We're going to jump out of the balloon. Ready? Oh. There's a divot in his eye. What's in there? Is there something there? No. Oh, wait. There is something there. 
What? Examine. What the hell? My arm is glowing. Ah. What the hell? We go back in time? Can reverse that? Whoa, what? What is this? A memory? I'm not even playing around. I really don't know what's going on. Wow. Sounds like we should keep looking for the rest of these, huh? If this is how you access the memories, like, from the other game... The other game, you took pictures of stuff and, and trying to find out where you were. But this is interesting. Oh. Some other lady knows Zelda, and Zelda's knocked out. Oh, there's the goat person. And then the other girl, I don't know who she is. And yeah, they're pretty scary. Where am I? We didn't mean to startle you. I'm sorry. It's okay. My name is Sonia. Oh. And could we ask what your name is? I'm the daughter of King Rome of Hyrule, Zelda. What an unexpected answer. We are the king and queen who founded Hyrule after all. Oh. Or at least we were the last time I checked. Holy you shit. So they're like Hyrule? ancient civilizations? You're the king? Hmm. My name is Raru. King Raru of Hyrule. Or at least I was a million years ago. I'm Damn. That must be what? Oh no, we'll have to find the next tier to find out. Whoa. That was cool. I didn't know that was all gonna happen. Interesting. I knew we were supposed to collect those though. Huh. Good, okay. So this is what we need to be doing. It says Tear the Dragon 1. After disappearing into the depths under the castle, Zelda wakes up and meets two strangers who introduce themselves as Raru, King, and Queen Sonia. She left startled by suspicion and she heard those names before. And there's like a whole bunch that we need to do. Whoa. Oh, shit! You found it! You look distracted! What's wrong? Goodness, you say you had a vision? Saw mysterious figures? And then Princess Zelda? Hmm, the geoglyphs, the literature, the dragon's tears, and now a vision of the lost princess. What if these are all connected? Let us continue to examine the geoglyphs. They may contain further clues that lead to Princess Zelda. You know, according to the literature, there is something to do with geoglyphs in the Forgotten Temple. So there's a lead. I didn't even know about the temple because I forgot about it. Never knew what it was. Just a dumb joke. The Forgotten Temple lies at the bottom of Canyon in Hebra. I think we should make our way there soon. Ah, oh, interesting. Okay. And we'll do that in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. I make a new video every Monday.